Hey, welcome to the second tutorial on the node map. Uh, so in this one, we're going to create a custom uh, encounter type uh, and also change that encounter so that uh, we get a custom reward. We are here in the uh, node map tutorial, which we used in the last tutorial. So we'll keep this beautiful little map and then we'll have to create a new encounter type. So first we're gonna need to make a new tag for this. So we can go to data tags and then encounter tags, and we can add a new one here. And we'll call this one then tutorial. And then we'll put this then under encounter uh, tutorial. Let's see. So now we have that here. And now we can select our node and we can choose the. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll have to save. And then it should show up in the encounter. Here we have tutorial. And then we get this icon here. And why do we get this one? Well, we'll have to look here in the construction script of the node. And you can see here that we are setting the material of this node mesh here based on something we find in this uh, encounter icons map. And since we haven't defined anything for our new encounter type yet, it goes to the default, which is um, which is using this skull uh, icon. So we can add a new one if we go to our encounter icons, we'll add a value to this map. We'll select tutorial and we will choose uh, an icon for this. So there are a lot to choose from. Let's, well, that I know we have is, I mean, it's strength, isn't it? Yeah, strength. There, we can have this buff guy to represent our new encounter type. If we go back now, we can see that this icon has changed to our strength icon. Uh, if we try to select this, you can see that we load into a normal encounter, which is the default when we have no defined behavior. But we want to create our uh, custom type of encounter now. So for this, we'll want to create a new encounter. We can go to data. And we have encounters here, and we can duplicate one of these to create our new one, uh, or we can create a new one from the appropriate uh, struct. Maybe that's more informative. Uh, so we could duplicate this, or we could take user, in no, not user interface, I mean miscellaneous, and choose a data table, search for encounter, F encounter, and we'll call this DT combat encounter encounters and this will be tutorial so we're starting with no encounters we can add a new one we'll call this one also just tutorial and we'll have to add our minions so we can find our minions in the minions um, monsters data table here and we can select some so I'll select the spider and I'll just keep this as only a single spider just so we can defeat it easily and we can get our reward um, so we will choose the um, let's see the unobtainable cards where we can find the normal reward and we'll keep the normal reward and the arena um, currently and we'll add that and uh, we'll change that a bit later so now we have that encounter if we now go back to our node we can add a new value here to the gameplay tags for the tutorial so you can see the default one goes here anyway so it doesn't really do anything to add this extra uh, pin, uh, but it helps with clarity uh, when we're reading the code. So, like you know from the last one, we're going here, but we end up in setup and load uh, arena. And we can again see that if we have the default, if we don't have any of the other specified gameplay tags, we're setting the normal encounter data table. But we'll add our custom one, which we'll find encounter tutorial here, and we'll use this then to set the data table. Wish you could use a select node with a gameplay tag, but you can't, so I have to use the switch instead. But it will it serves the same purpose, just a bit more messy. And we're setting that the tutorial here. So now if we play our map and we select this new 
uh, node type we should load into our spider encounter and we do and if we kill this spider then we will get a normal reward which is a single card and then uh, we'll get back but we'll get back to this node map as you can see so we'll have to change uh, what node map that we are using because currently also if you go to the main menu and uh, load or start a new game you will load this default node map so we'll, we will have to change so that we are using the custom node map that we are creating this is something we can change in the game instance so if we go to blueprints and core and game instance and we find the current node map uh, we can uh, change this then to node map to tor real and this is something of course you can change dynamically during gameplay as well if you want to be able to change node maps uh, if we now go to maps main menu and hit play and we'll drop the current run and hit new game you see that we load into this new node map and also uh, when we kill this spider and get our reward uh, we'll also load back into this and you can see that we have now crossed out this encounter because we have been here now and now we can move to the two new nodes uh, that it is connected to so everything like that is working great next let's create a custom arena uh, so we'll just simply duplicate this one I'll call this arena alternate and for this we'll just you know very simply visually change this so we can recognize this arena we'll just place some basic shapes behind here now we have our alternate arena i'll just copy this name uh, so we can reference it easy that's our second arena and now in our tutorial encounters we can select this as the uh, level to load for this encounter if we now go back to our um let's see node map for the tutorial here enter this one you will see that we are loading into our uh, custom arena map so this could be used for visuals or of course if you have a map that is using somewhat different rules or something like that uh, this is also a way to go about doing that or if you want to have a map uh, which is responsible for other types of encounters than combat then of course you can do that as well um right so that's working all working well last point on the agenda then is to create a new custom reward type uh, so we can do that also finding that in our uh, data tables and that's in cards and unobtainable cards because like i said when you win um, a combat encounter uh, then actually a card is played uh, which is responsible for giving you your rewards so we can find the normal reward here which is a good starting point uh, for our rewards we can create a duplicate of this and i'll call this then tutorial reward and we'll also name it that i'll just copy this over i'll have to oops that didn't work okay that's all um i'll have to write it then can't type for whatever reason um okay so that's the reward we don't need we don't really need a name for this because you won't have this card in hand so what's here is sufficient um, i just prefer to do it <laughs> just have it consistent between the data tables but that's really unnecessary we don't need like a portrait or a description for, for the same reasons uh, and many other things as well uh, what you do need are card effects that represent uh, what this card does and you can see which one is included here which is the same as the normal reward because that's what we duplicated is this add new card to pile uh, effect and we're adding the pile then to the deck uh, so that we are keeping that between uh, between maps we're adding one card um, and we're also specifying that this is um, that this is a victory event so the only thing we use this tag for is in the discover targeting uh, blueprint yeah we can take a look at that um, yeah, you can see that it checks the card effects the gameplay tags if we have the victory tag then the reward screen will display choose your reward instead of choose a card so that's the only thing that tag really does at the moment um so yeah 
since yeah we don't really need an effect action for this so this could be blank it doesn't really matter here but yeah we want to make this a custom reward type all, all of this is you know mostly for visuals and things like that so it won't matter either we really for the rewards we just care about the effects uh, so we can set this up so that we are getting two rewards instead of just one. So we can add a new card effect which gives us another card. We'll just copy this one, add a card effect and paste this here and then we will get two card rewards. Um, we can make some changes here but before doing that let's just make sure everything is working fine. So we need to change our uh, encounter here so that we're getting the tutorial reward instead of the normal reward. And at this point, we should be getting two cards when we kill this spider. So let's see if all of that is working. And we're getting our first card. Always pick that one and always check of greed because it gives me two cards. Okay, great. So that works and we have both of these cards in our deck. And so there's one more tweak you can do to those cards. Uh, of course, you can also um, do things like give you artifacts when you win or you can create a new kind of custom card that does something else to give you some other type of reward but if you want to add artifacts you can look at the elite reward which has this as one of its uh, effects uh, but one thing i should mention that you can change is that for these rewards uh, this add new card to pile effect uh, it will also look at the used data uh, here in this effect uh, so where you can choose the rarity weights and this is the weighted probabilities uh, that you will get different kinds of cards so the chance of getting uh, rare cards or elite cards or common cards so this is set up uh, as normal but we can choose you know as a elite for instance which will up our chances of get getting rarer cards and you can look at the rarity weights data table where you can change those weights so you can see here for uh, normal rewards, uh, it's 50% uh, chance to get a common card, 34% uh, chance to get a rare card, and a, a 0 0.16 or yeah, a 16% chance of getting an epic card. While for the boss, you have 100% uh, chance to get an epic for all of the cards, for instance. Uh, so you can also here create new uh, rarity weights if you want, and then you can reference those in the reward. Um, effects here so you can control the probabilities of getting certain kinds of cards. I think that basically covers it but uh, let's implement a couple of things I mentioned here just to make sure that uh, I made that clear. Uh, so let's add another re uh, reward then to our tutorial reward. We'll add an artifact. We just copy that over from the elite reward where we do have um, an artifact reward. And we can go to the tutorial rewards and add another card effect. Just minimize these and paste it. And we should have our add artifact here. Um, you can change also the, uh, the chances of the types of artifacts you get, for instance. Uh, by the way, they can have different rarities as well. But let's keep that for now. And we'll also change the rarities. We'll keep the normal rarity uh, weights for the first card. But then I'll change the second one to uh, the boss rarity weight. So we should only be getting epic cards. So we're getting uh, one random card, one epic random card, and an artifact for defeating our single spider. That's a pretty good deal, I would say. Uh, yeah, you can see, by the way, that we're always drawing the cards in the same order. Uh, and that's because in the BP pile hand, uh, component I have set I've set this, uh, random draws to false so you can do that for debugging that's why I'm always drawing the four smites first but yeah when we are killing the spider first we get our normal reward we were lucky and got one epic card here for the next one we should be getting all epics and yes we did and then we're getting our artifact which is here and which stays with us in our node map great Okay, I think that should cover most of the important stuff. But as always, if you have any remaining questions, uh, feel free to ask in my support thread or on Discord or below in the YouTube comments if there's something that was not clear or you want more information on or if you just have any questions related to anything else, really. 
and that's it for the node map and i guess i'll see you in some other tutorial on some other topic so see you then